We, of course, have been continuing to cover Typhoon Haiyan, the strongest storm in recorded history as far as the peak winds on a one-minute wind scale out here. It has already been slamming the east coast of Samar down towards Lette. And I'm just going to show you some of these images out here, some of the initial images coming out of the region. This is actually via of ANC, Takluban, and Lette there. Uh, it almost looks like a tsunami, and this is what we expected, a storm surge, a very dangerous storm surge, up to seven to eight meters high very well possible you can see this up to about one stories high any low-lying areas right near the coast any of these uh, really non-reinforced buildings uh, have to have been devastated by this, not just in Tacloban, but also farther off there towards east, southern portions of Samoa. Has had to have brought devastation. And just like we were talking about earlier in our live cast, the winds in the center of the circulation of this storm are the equivalent of what you would find in an EF3 to EF4 tornado. Not hurricane, but a tornado out here. It's basically a 100 in diameter wide uh, tornado, I guess, as that what, was what I'm saying here. It's destructive winds. You really can't fathom the winds inside of the center of circulation. And for those of you who are out here in the eastern portions of the Philippines, this is still running at full strength. Category 5, a tropical system. Pressure is continuing. Well, pressure is actually starting to rise, so we're going to start to see a slow weakening as this pushes over the Philippines, but it's moving very fast, right around 35 kilometers per hour at this time. That means good and bad news. The good news is that these very severe conditions across portions of Samar and Lete that they are seeing right now, this significant storm surge, it is going to be easing off quickly into the afternoon hours. The bad news, very slow time for this to weaken out, so we'll quickly rush off there towards the west, and there is going to be a widespread swath. Millions of people affected by this eye wall you can see on the set on the radar imagery across the Philippines, and this is just another one of the looks at the first images coming out of here. This is from someone on Instagram. Um, I shared it on our Facebook page and also on the web page. Uh, just one of these images here of what it looks like inside this eye wall and what people are contending with right now. And if you are outside in an unreinforced building, um, it really is a deadly storm. As of right now, making this update, Signal Force 4 is in effect for numerous provinces, not just one or two. That's typically what happens here, but most of a size under Signal Force 4. Good news, they are, and the warnings have been out. On Wednesday and Thursday, thousands of people evacuated from low-lying areas into higher elevations to these evacuation centers, which are mostly churches, gymnasiums, buildings at higher elevations. They're in Visayas. Now, going through well, the late morning hours, into the early afternoon hours and this is moving fast Cebu you're gonna be seeing some rough conditions then heading off there towards the west Ilio you're gonna be seeing some typhoon strength conditions the worst is over here that significant storm surge is off here towards East Tacloban right there that is where I showed you that image of that uh, significant tsunami like storm surge but that's all going to be transpiring farther there towards the west throughout the day today. This is by the evening hours. It starts to quickly move off there towards the west, rapidly improving conditions behind it. But, um, it, yeah, it really is a very serious storm system. We're going to continue to cover this on the web page, also on Facebook and Twitter throughout the day here. Uh, even Manila, you're going to be seeing some tropical storm strength winds as well. I've seen that you are in Signal Force 2 at this time, but the worst of it will stay down here farther towards the south. So with that said, that is all for right now, everybody. Uh, please continue to check back in at the Facebook and Twitter. We're going to continue to post updates throughout the day. Um, just one more time, strongest storm on record via JTWC on a one-minute wind scale. Not official via JMA, the RSMC, as far as the pressure. But according to JWC satellite estimates, we do have the strongest typhoon on record. So that is just something to keep in mind. But please stay safe out there, everybody. And let's hope that everybody evacuated out of these storm surge areas and ahead of this very violent and incredibly dangerous typhoon.